Right, so we will have a splitter here and we'll say that it's got an input priority from the right. That way bullets already on the belt will take precedent. And I might allow for more than one box. This will give us a higher density of bullets. Right. Two, three, one, two. Obviously, I mean, ideally, you sort of like have a train automatically picking up bullets from your base, bringing them out, dropping them off, and then it all gets loaded, but. Um, that seems too much hassle. Once I invent artillery, then we're going to be able to take out stuff. Right, if you picked up and placed there, then you can pick up and place there. And that gets you stuff. So each of these needs a loader. Do a similar thing here. Place one there, one there. It's just quicker and easier than messing around with the belts. Um, I should be placing power poles as I'm going, really. Right, you can go there, you can go there. I was about to say, I'm surprised none of these trees are getting in the way. That should work. Running low on inserters. But we are done. Power poles. just essentially need to click and drag around because the game will rather intelligently drop a power pole wherever it may become needed. So I'm sort of putting myself against the wall but the power poles next to where they need to go. Yep. Connected to the power poles on the um, mining array, rather than where I was expecting it to go. Why aren't I running along the belt? That would make more sense, wouldn't it? I'd be able to go quicker. Theoretically. <laughs> Come on. That should be all of it. We just need um, a shed load of bullets and more electric miners. This is quite a major outpost. But it is going to keep us in iron for quite a while. 10 million is a fair chunk. Remember, I think our stutting iron was 750,000. Okay, train. Back to base. So we need some walls. Um, electric miners and bullets. So this thing's just sort of waiting for the coal to be used. I don't think we're using much in the way of power. It's because we're not really doing any science at the moment. Um, nanobot explosives. Flamethrower, military. Increased explosive damage. Rocket launchers, combat robotics. Yeah, see, I don't really want any of that military stuff at the moment. And the rest of it needs blue science. 
which we cannot do because we need advanced circuits, and advanced circuits needs plastic, and plastic needs oil. 29 nanobots, that's okay. 149, that's a bit better on that. Uh, some walls. But uh, I'm just doing the corners. Three hundred, and then we'll grab as many bullets as we can. And I'm thinking I'm going to double the amount of bullets I make. So that way, in future, I will have four thousand bullets to hand, because we're going to have to. Well, the the oil base is already relatively well protected, although there's no automatic loading of its um of its uh, gun turrets. Okay, please take me back to steel. I do like riding the rails. It is fun. It's also, in general, the fastest way to get around. Right, so I'm actually going to pick that up this time. So that's six in there. Take out the half stack. There we go. So those are more or less even. I just plug the corners. Because I'm about to turn on the miners. So we're looking for gaps in our defences. Uh, holes in the wall and anywhere that I feel I need to put down a few more gun turrets. Let's use the belts to move a little quicker. Or also gaps in our defences in that there's a huge stretch of wall that wasn't even finished. Okay. It's looking pretty good though. Yeah. This is this is fine. Let us complete the actual mining field before we turn this on. Actually what might be good is if I could turn on power just to the bullets, but I don't think that's going to happen. Alright, copy. Let me get you. Let us reclaim stuff. Okay, so we've got enough electric miners, but we're out of belts again. <laughs> so we are going to have to make at least one more trip there and back. So there's a bit here. Oh, okay. It looked like there was one missing, but there's just like nothing there to actually get. You will just deposit onto the side there. Right, once I get those belts down, that should be good enough, but I think I can hook this up to the electrical grid now. So we'll get a large electric pole. Place it there. And hook it up. And just in case the biters get a little bitey happy, I want to make sure that we've got more than one 
connection to the grid. So you can see um, the bullets are whizzing around. These things are starting to grab. But if you look at this one, okay, that's actually loaded 10 in. Yeah, so 10 appears to be the number of bullets that it puts in each one. So with 2,000, I've got enough bullets to initially load 200 gun turrets, and I doubt I've got that many. So, but the excess bullets will just keep cir uh, circulating in preference to the ones coming out of the box. Alright, so I need belts again. But I think we also should make the station at the base at this point. Because... We're almost ready to make our iron train. Oh, escape. So, iron is being smelted here. So raw iron, a good place for raw iron to enter the base would be here. Uh, this stone smelting is going to have to move at some point, but I think it can stay there for now. So we want an unloading station here. And we also want a railroad track that's going to be heading down here. Hmm. Which puts this in an awkward position. I could unload in this. I could have it down here. But there's not really room. Well, it might work. Let's try this. Control copy. I want to include the junction. Get you, including the four way balancer. Hold down shift. Get rid of these power poles. But the rest of this might work. Can I? Now it could go there if I move the four way balancer. Let me cancel the four way balancer. and it's going to have to get its fuel in a different way. Because obviously this train is not carrying coal, so... So, this is getting a little busy, and you can see I, it has messed the signals up for this. So, but there's a ghost on the way in. A uh, ghost on the way in heading up. So where are we past all the junction stuff? We are past all the junction stuff there. When we're heading down, we are past all the junction stuff there. Now, if I add another station, that's going to get even bigger and, ug and uglier, which is why I wanted to head on up. But it will do. Uh, 
Um, you go there. So, this has now become a junction, so stop before you block if your way isn't clear and put a ghost after. Right, this station is steel base delivery. And is that a ghost of a constant combinator or an actual constant combinator? I think that's the ghost of a constant combinator. Can't really tell the difference. Uh, I need some copper if I want to make that. <laughs> Constant combinated is one of the few things I'm not bothering to um, automatically make. I probably will do eventually. Let's just make five. Because they are part of my standard blue uh, blueprints, I'm going to want to automatically make them. So when I have bots drop drop stuff for me. There we go. All right. Now I can tell it that it's supposed to load iron ore. I've labelled everything steel, haven't I? Uh, iron ore, not steel. All right, let's go to map mode. And oh good, we do have a radar down. We can rename this one as well. Iron ore. Iron ore mining. That's better. And so I will remember when I get there, we will throw one of them down. Alright, so I have miners. I just need belts. I did double the amount of belts, didn't I? Things scale up pretty quick in this game. That's still only 400. I did not increase the number of belts. Give me... 1, 2, 3, 4. Give me 800 yellow belts at a time, please. I mean, now that we've got this massive, massive iron mine, we might switch to red belts. Because steel is a little more plentiful than it was. Okay, let's get these past the train tracks. Um, that can't be right. There we go. You just look wrong. And if we're going to stagger, we're going to stagger. Right, so, so this mine currently is only bringing in four lines because with yellow belts bringing in more is a bit awkward. Uh, if we upgrade it to red belts later, then it might be able to load um, uh, more lines of ore. Alright, so how would you get through here? Ah, it almost looks like we were preparing for this. We appear to have a 6x6 balancer here. This is good. Let me copy that. Bring this down. Try not to get too much of it wrong. Okay, let's get past these cliffs. 
can. Right, this one we're going to have to make red. Uh, this is a very annoying cliff. Right, control copy. There's another cliff in the way there. We are out of belts already. <laughs> so the thing with this game is, although you automate stuff, like at, in the beginning you're having uh, having to do everything man uh, manually, and automating stuff is a, like a slow process. But then it's like you automate stuff, and, so and suddenly everything sort of starts to happen quickly and automatically. But then you expand so much that now you're having to run around and do stuff manually again because you're running out of resources quicker than you were before so you have to automate again and again and then just everything snowballs Construction planner to get rid of that instruction. Cliffs are in the way of you as well, eh? Keep wanting to go around the bottom. So we've got four. So the first ones will obviously go into our unused lanes. And these ones will merge with these. With the input priority being... With the input priority being from our mine. Again, we want to drain the local resources first. Um, underground. We want to do this as well. I mean... This means at least two of the lines are going to come from the train and be fully used, but I mean we could merge all of them. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm going to merge all of them. Which means we want to change how this works. Um, so does it matter which ones merge with which? Like, just so long as they actually merge, I guess. Can I get rid of this iron ore? Thank you. Uh, let me actually drain that. I don't think it matters. Go down. Input priority from the left. And you will carry on, but I'm not going to make you carry on yet. 
but then you need to duck under here. So this one can merge. So that will merge. Actually, no, I, I will cut it off after the splitter. So we do just need a two gap that starts under there. you off so you don't put too much through in case it turns out I've made a mistake. And this one I'm going to have to squiggle down a bit. Now we're not filling all six of these are we? I don't think that's too big of an issue. Okay, let's copy and paste the priority. And we sh should be able to let this stuff start flowing again. We've got room for two more. And we'll replace this uh, with like an eight to six balancer later. And then, you know, we can either have a train station with eight lines coming off it, or maybe even two, two different stations dropping iron off back here at the base. So now we need our actual iron train. You, no, come on, middle mouse button, thank you. Iron ore. Unfortunately, you have to click on every one, you can't just like hold and drag. Which is weird, because when you're doing a copy and paste operation out in the real world for like settings, you can do a copy and drag. Click, click, double check, right. So you are set for iron ore. No, you're set for coal. I'm sure I changed you. Maybe I didn't hit the tick. All right, so you are set for iron ore. You are iron ore base delivery. All right, coal. Now I'm hoping a red underground there doesn't quite go far enough. But this can just do a duck under. Right, so this coal, this one can, can still grab coal. Um, I will demonstrate that by taking some coal out. Yep, so you can see it's still it's still going. Let's put that coal back in. Uh, I've got too much coal on me, so we'll do that. Right, we're going to get in. Add station. Right, your job is to go to coal mining one until you have a full cargo. And then go to... No. Did it again, didn't I? Go to... Iron ore mining one until you have a full cargo. 
this is why you put those filters on um, on the wagons and then go to iron ore base delivery until you have an empty cargo and you can be in automatic mode Actually, it might be best if we do it that way around, because this first one, that's what identifies a train. Um, so, you know, do we want where it's picking up from to be the primary identifier, or where it's going to? I forgot to get in. Come back! <laughs> I forgot to get in. I meant to get in that train. <laughs> Um, no, no, I don't want map mode. I want this map mode. Right. There we go. <laughs> I was looking forward to riding the big train. Because it's fun when it snakes around the corners with all the cars. Right, so that's successfully doing that. Um, why have my bullets not made it all the way around? What has happened that the bullets have not made it all the way around? Uh, this this stuff all has bullets. Everything's perfectly happy here, bullet-wise. There's a gap here. There we go. Bullets for everyone. Um, these are not all loading. There we go. All right, so hopefully now. We should see a reduction in the amount of bullets that are going to come out, uh, be, uh, be coming out of the chests. Because we have this set to input priority from the right. There we go. Nothing more is coming out of the chests now. So how many bullets do we have left in the chests? 35. And a bit there. Yeah, so I will... Um, get another load of bullets and top those chests up so if this thing starts actively shooting it's uh, not going to be a problem because if we look at this the pollution cloud is starting um, we do want to make sure though that everything at base delivery works out so I will just tell the train to go there even though it's not completely full Plus, it means I get to ride the snaky train. Snaky, snaky. Right. Train unloads. Start spitting all that out. See, this is why you want to double check stuff. Make sure there's no breaks in the line. What colour is that? Oh, black. I want it to be like a sort of silvery. And another break. That is facing the wrong way. Always double check everything. These coal miners are still going. How are we doing on the patches here? Uh, 467,371, 626. We will need a copper mine at some point. Uh, we appear to have a gap here. Let's 
So, this was only a half line, so this one is going to keep going at a reasonable speed. Is that last one coming through? It is. And we should see that as we use stuff, it's going to be mainly moving from these miners. So I will run back there with some more bullets. But I think that's it. I think that is the iron outpost done. It took an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> I thought it would be like half an hour and I'd be done with that outpost. A lot of it was having to run back for extra supplies and stuff. Bullets. Bullets? No, that's science. My bullets are here. Okay, a thousand and something. Yeah, it's taking us a while to remake those bullets. Makes sense, I suppose. You do not need to be there. You guys can be medium poles. So the uneven loading can be an issue, but that's where the buffer boxes help help sort, uh, sort that out. So I will go throw these bullets in, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.